Hi there Pisces, how are you? It's Manessa from The Inner Stereo and I'm back again doing your mid-September 2018 readings. And as usual, this is going to be a relationship spread and you could always apply with any who it could be with your boyfriend, girlfriend, exes, a husband, wife, fiance, friends, mother-in-law, whoever that is. I'm basically just going to pick up your relationship energy um, further now, okay? And make sure to check also your Sun, Moon, or Venus sign because I realized that with my readings, I tend to resonate much more with my Venus sign rather than my Sun sign. Okay? Mm. Okay, so how are you guys doing right now, Pisces? You, for your overall energy for the now, you do have the Justice card, you have the Moon card, and you have the shadow side of reverse interesting so the being the moon being in the center of your energy it kind of like is the universe call for you to get back into your intuition you have the shadow side in reverse in here the shadow side in a traditional right away tarot is the devil card but when it comes to this particular deck of mine the shadow side talks about your subconscious shadow side where you guys listen to your insecurities basically everything that you intentionally or unintentionally record to your subconscious and it is the main factor that drives you to do certain things when it comes to re your relationship make sure though you know because you have the moon card here and you also have the justice card so you need to kind of like balance things up make sure to not bring your past baggage of your um messed up relationship in the past make sure to not bring you know your best friend stories about how her boyfriend cheated on her or lied to her and whatever that is into your current relationship because it could be quite self-destructive for the relationship itself okay but with the moon card here it kind of like talks the universe is calling you to get back into your intuition while balancing things out so that you can get out of your shadow side even more the shadow side is not really a pretty um state to live in because it's the moment where we are being confronted with our insecurities, with our trauma, with our past traumatic experiences, us dealing and questioning our self for self-esteem, self-value, comparing yourself to other people, and it's not a healthy place to live in, okay? Pisces are very, very intuitive, you know? I always feel like me as a Sagittarius, I'm like a Pisces, but a fire sign. Okay, you guys have have more intuition feeling, especially if you do have like a lot of water dominant in your chart. You're very, very intuitive. And if you can use that instead of listening to all those shadow sides that have been whispering in your ears for quite some time now, you can actually get things going. So what's challenging you? You have the two of pentacles in here and you also have the six of swords in reverse. So you try to move to calmer water because things has not been really, really good for your shadow side again, as I said. But you can't. You're kind of like stuck in here. You have the two of pentacles in here. So you could be dealing with a juggler too who are dealing with multiple people at the same time. Not for all of you, but you could also, there is like a little bit of a wishy-washiness coming from your side. A little bit of indecisiveness, whether you want to be in or whether you want to out, whether you want to invest them in this relationship anymore, whether you don't want to invest much more in this relationship, whether you want to work it or whether you want to wait for the other party to kind of like return your investment so there's like a lot of hesitance going on in here <coughs> beautiful so this is them in the past they have the page of cups here the page of cups in the traditional right away to row is a very very genuine offer because it's the first fish that the man kind of like caught and he's willing to give it to someone else so there is a mix of genuine and self-love and their selfless love and there's also a mix between them kind of like want to boast like hey here this is very genuine this is for you if that makes sense but with the page of cups the love that the page of cups although it's a page though it's it has not evolved yet into becoming a king although it's a page but this in this particular deck of mine the page of cups is very very beautiful because this person is aware of all the currents that is could be coming their way if they want to be in a relationship with you or if they want to be with you, but they're willing to be there. So it's a very, very brave, genuine and selfless love in the past. They want to build a future together with you, you know, they want it to be the center of your universe. I don't know what is happening with my autofocus today, but I'm sorry if, if, if it's not focusing on the cards. They want it to be the center of your universe. 
they're seeing like the potential with you, I feel like they're playing more into a feminine energy where you guys are playing more into a masculine energy. So they're kind of like much more submissive towards you. It's, it's, it's going to be a little bit difficult if the roles are switched. I mean, if you are a woman and this person is a man, it's going to be kind of like quite difficult because this person is quite, I'm not saying submissive, but this person actually wants you to be the one who calls the shots. But something happens in here. Why? Because you guys are the Knight of Wands and also the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So it's either you guys were kind of like dealing with multiple options in here. You were dealing with kind of like quite multiple options in here. Or you kind of like give in into the impulsive nature of you. The Knight of Wands is a very fast-moving knight who comes and goes as they please. Especially when it comes in reverse. What's, what drives it to be the Knight of Wands in reverse? Yeah, I feel like you guys are both in a very, very much different energy for the now. I mean, this person is all about lovey-dovey. It's all about, you know, wanting to be the center of your universe and blah, blah, blah. I feel like both of you in the past were kind of like in the different page, if that makes sense. You guys were kind of like more focusing on your life, planning your life ahead. I feel like in the past, you guys were kind of like sit sit back and then there's like a flash going front in front of you and you guys have the idea of which areas of your life that you want to focus on and them are not quite a priority for you with that being said so they feel like the other part he actually feels like you guys are a player so see 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 how things are Kind of like different because you have trust issues with them they too have trust issues with you because they feel like the there is no equal give and take in this relationship with the six of pentacles i feel like you guys are kind of like stop giving them what they want or it's either the love language is a little bit different so what they're expecting from you is different than what you guys give to them because they're all about cups you guys are all about wants you want to explore you want to you know, like a fish, you don't want to be caught and everything like that. And they want to be caught. See beneath your beautiful, would you let me? See beneath your perfect, take it up now, boy, take it up now, boy. Now the, the roles are switched. I feel like your mutability is, has very much shown, you know, is very much showing in this month of September. Um, I understand this completely because I'm a Sagittarius. We're, we're, we're mutable as well. Sometimes you feel like you see the values and the potential when it comes to this person. But when it, this person becomes cold, detached, and kind of like a little bit mean towards you, you guys are kind of like, nah, nah, not having it anymore. So now you guys are kind of like wishy-washy and try to distance yourself and see things in a bigger perspective from a helicopter view. You know if that makes sense. I feel like, you know, although you see, you still see the values in here, but you're also kind of like, looking for a way out somehow with the two of wands in here so you're trying to kind of like detach yourself so that you don't get too fired up again as you guys were in the past like you guys were kind of like over passionate over everything where they're being like all lovey-dovey you guys are being all i don't know like classical stuff like that and they're kind of like very very grounded page of cups type of energy and then and now they're like the queen of swords because they are kind of like quite felt hurt by you they kind of like hurt because they felt like damn i gave you my selfless love i gave you my genuine love as much as i could i wanted you like with the empress card they see you as a wifey or husband material as well so they wanted to build like a long-term commitment with you a stability with you but then they see that it's not being met in Indonesia, we call it bertepuk sebelah tangan, meaning that if you want to clap, you need both hands, right? And in that case, they feel like they were clapping only with their hands and you guys are not, you know, going along with them and they're kind of like felt hurt by it. So now they're like the queen of swords. 
the Queen of Swords doesn't happen to be the Queen of Swords just because they were born to be detached. They were born to be someone who is mean. They were born to be someone who is cold. They were born to be someone who is very, very demanding, you know? They, 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 they are like this because they kind of like felt hurt by you in the past. I feel like there's like a lot of misunderstanding, miscommunications happening in the past. So that's why now the energy is kind of like quad bipolar in here. And it's like a ping pong game, but the, the players are playing at a different time, if that makes sense. Because one, one time they became detached, one time they became demanding and everything like that. It's the moment where you felt like, oh my God, I love this woman so much, or I love this man so much, I see the value and potential in this person. But then they became cold. But the moment when they, when they felt like, you know what, I think we should start afresh again from zero. I think... I want to build something with you, but but this time I'm going to take slow damn ass time. So not as before where everything was all lovey-dovey and everything. And you guys are the full card in reverse. You're not willing to take that giant leap of faith again with you. So there's like a lot of bipolar energy going on in here from your side and also from their side. Again, as I said, it's like a ping pong game or a tennis match that the players are playing in a different time. <clears throat> in the future they have the king of pentacles and the ten of wands which is beautiful you know because as you can see the progress in here the page of cups yes it was a very very selfless love because they get hurt they were the queen of swords someone who try to protect their heart chakra so that they don't get hurt anymore so they're very very cerebral this time of the year is this time because they don't want to get hurt is a form of self defense for them right in the future the king of pentacles is so if you're um, if you're a woman and you're dealing with a man finally now they men up if you're if you're a man dealing with a woman they're going to men up in the future Right in the past and in the now, they were very, very feminine. They were they have this feminine energy with them. In the future, they're going to be the one who's calling the shots, because apparently, <coughs> because they feel like well, in the past I accept expected you to be the one who calls the shot, but you guys didn't. So in the future, they're going to be the one who's willing to call the shots for you with the King of Pentacles in here. The King of Pentacles is someone who, especially with the Ten of Wands, you know, as you can see, the Ten of Wands always have a destination that they're going to. And they understand completely that it's not going to be a smooth sailing. It's going to be like a lot of bumpy rows, a lot of obstacles and challenges ahead. But they're willing to actually fight for this love, you know, Pisces. I don't feel like you're into them, though. Oh, you... Yeah, see? So this is your advice, actually, being the Queen of Cups, being the Pisces that you are. So, because you guys are kind of like, you know, this is a mutable, like, I feel. Okay, so sorry for the cut. My memory space just ran up by itself and it just shut off by itself. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is that I feel like you guys, um, well, you guys always have the free will to choose your mate and everything like that. But know that in this moment right now, in the future especially, that they're like the king of pentacles. So they're willing to put in the effort. They're willing to, if you guys have any disappointment or if you guys still does, do have like a lot of insecurities deep down within you, they're kind of like willing to kind of like work things through with you. Okay? Because one moment you guys fell like the star card when they're kind of like proposing and when they're kind of like hook, uh, calling the shots about things, you guys are like, yes, finally, I get my dreams come true. But when they start kind of like putting the work, you felt disappointed in some ways. I feel like your love language, both of your lang love language are very, very different. I feel like open communication is really is the key in the now because every approaches or everything that they do seems to be like a disappointment for you. Whereas, you know, in the now, your advice is actually the Queen of Cups. You need to kind of like go back into your element and be kind of like quite understanding. The Pis uh, the Queen of Cups in this particular deck of mine, it kind of reminded me of, you know, my uh, therapist or a shrink. And I believe that you as a Pisces, you have, especially as a water sign, you guys have that talent of becoming someone's therapist, listening to them, understanding them for who they really are. 
listen, not just hear. I mean, listen exactly what they, they want to say. I feel like your, how your brain operates and them is kind of like different in some ways. Okay, because you guys are, yeah, so, so different. But they're willing to put in the work, though. They're willing to fight for you all the way. And now they're kind of like behaving quite funny with the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Wands in here. Okay? So, I really hope that you guys enjoy my reading. And thank you so much for listening. Bye-bye.